Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm Indy and today we are going to review Into a Dream. Hello neighbor. Oh my I Hello there. Sorry. I, I haven't seen anyone here about in a while. You gave me quite a scare there. Oh, sorry about that. At first glance, I didn't think I would enjoy the indie game Into a Dream all that much. However, once the story starts to unfold, I couldn't help the curious feeling creeping up on me. You play as John, a man sent into Luke's dreams in order to rescue him. The game focuses on the subject of depression and shows us what it's like to be on both sides. This subject is a very tricky one as people frequently like to debate the topic. And I think the way it's approached in the game is not only done well, but it's also emotional with a great scenario of how people can fall into depression. While this game is clearly not as polished as most games, it's really more about the story anyways. Yes, the character animation can be a tad quirky and honestly laughable at times watching your character jump over stuff. I never really cared though. The game visually is basically a side-scrolling walking simulator with the occasional puzzle. The majority of them are simple with only a few real head scratchers. And I didn't mind the puzzles but having to move boxes around like I was playing Limbo was a mistake in my opinion. It doesn't happen that often but the times that it does it was completely unnecessary. What the, the beach party? This is all over the place. Hey! Hi! Great party, isn't it? Into a Dream doesn't survive solely on its story. The music is soothing and beautiful at times, and the voiceover work is actually pretty good. There are times where it's just okay, but for the most part I was pleasantly surprised. Where the game really gets your attention though, is the story. It's emotional, it feels raw and downright shocking at times. I'm trying my best not to spoil too much, but towards the end things take quite the unexpected turn. When the credits rolled I realized I had just went through an emotional roller coaster. I have to add that towards the end of the game, the game glitched and I couldn't see where I needed to go next. Spamming the button finally got me to hit whatever it was that I needed, but I could see someone else totally thinking the game was broken and quit. That's a huge no-no in my opinion. What are you doing out here, Mum? It's freezing. I'm waiting for the songs to download, son. Did you manage to connect yourself to the internet out here? A very weak connection. You can come inside while you're waiting, Mum, or just download them when we get back to the city. Well, if Annie took all this trouble to make these songs... But it's freezing. She knows that. The settings at times in the game fascinated me. And running around as John, meeting all these intriguing characters, never seemed to get old. I enjoyed trying to figure out certain situations in the game and didn't mind when the game took me down a dark path. I think I will remember the main characters, John, Luke, Anne, Rita, and even the devilish dog Rufus for quite some time. Into a Dream is a great story on a very sensitive subject. While I didn't care for most of the game mechanics, everything else was really, really good. If you don't enjoy highly story-driven games, then this one is not for you. But if you love them and find tackling this subject head-on, then I highly recommend giving it a chance. It's only $13.99 on the PSN store right now. If not for the glitch with about a three and a half hour playtime, I would have thought this was a pretty damn good afternoon chill game.
Thank you guys for checking out my review on uh, Into a Dream. And if you enjoyed this review, then go check out our website where you can find all our gaming news, reviews, rumors, and all kinds of stuff at theplaystationbras.com. And as always, Indy on bra. Thanks. Now I owe you something. No, not at all. <laughs>